Your vacuum isn't working good. It doesn't have good suction power. This happened to me recently, and I was able to fix it, so I'll show you what I did. My central vac system has four outlets. One in the garage beside the main unit, one in the upstairs hallway, one in the basement, and one on the main level. So I went to the first outlet, and I got my shop vac. Any other vacuum will do, or if you don't have one, you could always rent one, or even better yet, borrow one from a friend, or even a neighbor. Just call them up and say, hey, can you bring over that shop vac? I'll make you lunch. And then make something good for lunch. Okay, so I took my shop vac and I put it in the outlet, turned it on, and I was getting all kinds of big clumps of hair and dust coming through the pipes that was stuck. I've got a big hairy dog that probably clogged it up with all that shedding she does. So then I went and did the same thing at the other outlets. My system is pretty clear now, but here's an example of the kind of chunks coming out. Pretty gross, eh? Then I would toss that in the trash and carry on. I also went back once more to the outlet I started at since chunks were likely going back and forth throughout the pipe system and see if I could get any final things through that one. So I also wanted to check the hose of the vacuum, so I laid it down some stairs and I dropped a small heavy metal object through it. I'm using a C-cell battery in this example, and I just ran it down the hose and it made it all the way to the end so I knew nothing was stuck in the hose. Oh, and that got stuck at the other end. Oh well, we can just send that through. But you get the idea. Had there have been something stuck in the hose, best bet would have been to figure out which part of the hose and see if I could wiggle it out. Or if the clog was close enough to the end, use a coat hanger. I actually had to use the coat hanger to clean out the shop vac hose afterwards. And it worked pretty good scooping out the debris from there. Then I checked out the main unit itself. I see that this pipe is for excess air that gets sucked up. And I found where that goes, made sure it wasn't plugged with anything, and that part was okay. So then I went back to the main unit, made sure to empty that bucket of course, but I also wanted to check out the filter inside there. Maybe clean it up a bit so it's easier for air to get through. Using a garbage bag was helpful for minimizing the mess while I shook the filter and I got a lot of the dirt off of it. And the final thing I did, flipped over that vacuum head and cleaned it out. Look at all that hair. If you think that's bad, you should have seen it the first time I did it. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Good suction power. So there you go. You have the knowledge. You have the power. Get that vacuum working great again.